If, like me, you've seen many references to COB LEDs or COB LEDs in recent years, you may be wondering what they are and whether they offer any advantages. The name COB stands for chip on board, and this refers to their construction, as we'll see later. They come in a whole variety of products these days. They come in torches like this one, and they come in strip lights and various forms of lighting and other things, and even in a key ring, as we see here, which is advertised as being a, a COB key ring. So they're everywhere. As they're so widely used, I'm going to take a look at them and explain exactly what they are and find out some of their key features. They're not like the usual LEDs like this individual one or uh, this, this display. Cob LEDs are packaged very differently and this is the key to their performance. The basic LED semiconductor element is taken and rather placing it in its own package, it's placed onto a substrate and normally along with a whole load of other LED elements. And then once these have all been assembled, a coating is placed over the top to give it the right color temperature, add protection, and to diffuse the light. So does this new approach have any advantages? Well, it most definitely does. There are several in fact, so let's have a look at them. The first is that by placing a lot of these LED elements closer together, you can get a very much brighter light. And this is useful in a lot of applications. In fact, I have got a, a light above the camera that is shining on me at the moment. And this uses a, a cob LED and it's very diffused. Also, placing them onto a substrate means that it's much easier to remove heat. And this, again, is very useful for higher power LED lights and lamps and all sorts of things. And having a diffuser over the top of them means that the light can be far more diffused, hence the name diffuser. But yes, you can have a far more even light over a given area. And another advantage is that of reliability. If you place all these uh, LED elements onto a substrate, it's far more reliable than having individual LEDs with soldered connections that are, are notoriously unreliable. So the reliability of COB LEDs is very much better. So let's take a look at them in practice and see what they're like and compare them with some equivalent LED uh, banks of LED lamps uh, and see what you think of them. So first up, let's have a look at a typical LED torch made out of discrete LEDs. And I won't shine this directly at the camera because it'll probably overload the camera. But there you can see the discrete LEDs are uh, uh, shining and they produce a very good light. Uh, there's no two ways about that. Let's turn that off and let's look at this cob LED torch. It has two elements to it. One is the top uh, and you can see that's quite bright on its own but also if we take a look at the um, th this more diffused light you can probably see the individual elements on that if I turn that round and uh, that is actually a really good example of a cob LED. And here is my on-camera light. It's not wonderfully powerful this one it's quite small but if I turn that on and don't shine it uh, directly at the camera you can see that it's got a really nice diffused light and yes we've seen the cob LEDs in various products but you may ask can you buy cob LED elements to put in your own products and the answer to this is yes they're very easy to to come across and they come in all shapes and sizes here we've got a very small one that uh, has got uh, is mounted onto a substrate and here we've got a larger one a square format and this is a much longer one and there are all sorts of formats and they have different drive requirements. So you do need to be careful of exactly how to drive them. So if you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please watch some more of my videos on the channel. We've got lots more of interesting content that I'm sure you will find very uh, fascinating to watch.